what is happening and welcome to another photography talk episode now today friends we're going to be talking about perspective and changes scenery and i'm not referring to my office here but in one of the recommendations that i made uh in the past here uh there's been a slight change and we're beginning to hear some noise and because we made the recommendations i feel it is our responsibility to give kind of a plan b kind of plan to help you guys get out there and get the take the best step forward now of course what i'm referring to is our canvas prints uh, or our recommendations that we've been making here now you may recall in some of the past uh uh, print shootouts that we've had, I share with you the reason that we do these uh, canvas print shootouts each and every year is running photography talk over the last 12 years. One of the things that we see a lot of photographers doing is printing out their photos. Not really a big surprise, but you go to Google, type in best canvas print, best metal print. But we're going to be talking about canvas prints here today. You go there and you expect to find a list, to, you know, some sort of insight on where to find the best metal or best canvas print. And when you go there, you find some websites out there that will give you a list of canvas companies from best to worst in there. And it's usually all the company, anyways, all good companies that they're recommending or they say they're good companies. But then you take a closer look at these here and you start realizing that these companies have not actually tested any of these canvas prints, all they are is basically a list that they've put together. They've pulled images from the print company's websites and it's just putting it on there, regurgitating their marketing information and putting it in a list format in front of you. So they have not tested a single print and making these reviews really rubbish for you because you're going, I mean, you're going to Google trying to find the best canvas print. So for some people that buy the prints through these websites they know no better they think this is as good as it gets now others uh, like yourself perhaps you may look at it and like wow this this is this is the best that i can get and you start questioning it or you may be disappointed like wow this is far from what i expected and it creates a bit of anxiety for when you're out there shopping for prints. And we decided to put our foot down a few years ago and do something about it. And that's when we launched the first $100 uh, canvas print shootout. And the whole premise behind these is we go out there, we buy prints, we open them up in front of you, so therefore you can see there's no there's there's no stone left unturned and you're, e you're able to either agree with the first impression that I'm making, things I'm pointing out, or you may not. But either way, you're able to see what they ship, what these particular companies uh, send out, and you're able to make an educated decision for yourself whether that's the print that you would like to, or that company you would like to do business with. So, a bit of a mouthful. Um, one of the companies that has been doing, geez, for the last three years, uh, they've taken the title every single time, uh, Canvas HQ. Um, and so we started about two months ago, starting getting some noise coming in from some of you indicating, hey, um, my print hasn't arrived. Uh, I expected more. Uh, there's a handful of uh, reviews that have gone. Many of you have left reviews on our YouTube channel and underneath some of these videos, you know, expressing not really happy thoughts from customer service to the print coming in late, to the quality not being what you had expected. And so I looked into this and of course I found out that Canvas HQ is under new management. And so now full disclosure, I have not tested out, I've not seen their new prints, um, but I'm hearing, I'm hearing you folks. And so while it's early or it's too early on for this year, we haven't started our 2022 uh, uh, Canvas print shootout uh, yet, but we do have that coming around the corner and it's going to be a whopper this year. We have some pretty cool stuff coming around the corner. So half of me was like, well, you know, I could just recommend the second, the runner up from last year, which was Pictorium. Pictorium did a good job, but were they number one? No, they weren't number one. Uh, they did a good job and they were very close to came and to you, but they weren't number one. And then anyways, let me, I'm going to put a tack into this here for a minute. Two months ago, I did a review on, um, you may recall, or maybe it was a month and a half ago. I think it was two months ago. Anyways, uh, there was a canvas print that I wanted done from a family, our first, uh, since COVID, 
uh, trip. We went out to Hawaii and there was a photo that I wanted printed in. You, the photo wasn't the photo wasn't really all of that. The, the lighting was kind of rubbish. There's a little lens flare going on, but the photo was meaningful for me. And I decided to take that opportunity to test out a company that we had tested last year for the metal prints. They did a, a gorgeous job with uh, one of my Tahoe, Lake Tahoe metal prints. Uh, and they really sucked it out of the park. And that is Adorama owned uh, Printique. And I shared with you, I. I never use them. I, I love Adorama, but the funny thing is I never use the print service. And they socked it out of the water. Socked it out of the water, socked it out of the... Yeah, whatever, you get the point. <laughs> they really hit a home run with the metal print. So I decided to try it out with the canvas print. Now, with a half okay image, the print turned out phenomenal. So then, fast forward to starting to hear these reviews coming in from... Some of you recently buying from Canvas HQ. It had me thinking, hmm... One of my favorite photos in my office, this one right here. I absolutely love this photo. This photo, Canvas HQ uh, printed this three years ago, I wanna say. One of my favorite prints. This is a absolutely gorgeous print. I absolutely love this one. So I decided, hey, if my hunch is correct about this company, which I didn't know and I didn't open up my trap. I wanted to see firsthand. Before I go recommending a number two company to you, because I understand, while well, until we do our camera shoot at this year, hey, there's many of you out there that still need to get cameras prints. So this is my favorite print. I'm just realizing it's quite dusty. <laughs> This is my favorite print, absolutely love it. So I decided to send the same print to Printique and see what that would turn out like. And what I'm gonna show you here absolutely blew me out of the water. Now, is Printique perfect? No, they're not. But where it counts on the front, uh, these guys, you know, let me bring this print up here. So one of the first, this is the, the print, that same print from Printique. One of the first things that I noticed, and I had this like, holy smokes, the sharpness. And let me see, let me see if I can get this up here. I hope this is going to show here. If I can do this with two hands. Oh wait, here we go. I know what I'm gonna do. Boom. Okay, so I am doubtful, and I'm just looking at my my screen here to see if you can make out the sharpness difference because what I notice right off the get-go is there's a lot more detail and especially if you look at my son's hat there's a, a seam that goes up here now while you can see it in both and it actually here's here's a better example look at the seam right here it is much more pronounced and then I started going back and forth I'm like holy smokes there's a lot more sharpness. There's a lot more detail. Um, and the more I started comparing these back and forth, this one seemed a little overcooked. This seemed a little bit more lifelike, a lot more lifelike. And then I started noticing a lot, simply a lot more detail throughout, especially my son's coat, the zipper, uh, and where I really noticed it was right in the hat, especially. A little Piper Cub up here, while that was slightly out of focus from my, my, my camera, but you could still see there's a difference in sharpness. But really, it's right around where my son is at. There's a substantial difference in sharpness and just lifelike with the Pratik photo. So, that being the case, this, I needed to share this with you guys. Now, with the 2022 Canvas Print Shootouts coming up, we're going to start filming here pretty soon. So that's some pretty cool stuff coming around the corner. But for in the interim, I needed to share this with you. Uh, this really was a big, big surprise for me. All right, let's break this print down and kind of in the same evaluation as we've done with the shootouts. Now, the color, as I just spotted or shared with you a moment ago, the colors are really spot on. Actually, the, the colors are the best that I've seen to date. The corners of this are absolutely stunning. We'll flip it over to the back here. They, we'll get to the uh, staple frequency here in a moment. They give this little... Uh, 
these little cleats that you, ooh, did I stop one? Okay, no, that's in there. They give these little cleats that are extremely helpful. Uh, and on the bottom here, you have these little rubber knobbies. And again, these are for when you have it up against the wall. That keeps the bottom kind of pressed out a little bit. Now, the, the wood on the frames are nicely sanded. Um, and the corners of these are, they have these joints in here that are really interesting. So they're kind of woven all together, or kind of seamed together there, which is going to create a really sturdy feeling to these. Now, it doesn't have uh, center bracing, which is fine. Um, there's no backing on it, which very few of the prints these days don't. And I've kind of learned to accept that because then you can get appreciation for what's behind here. Uh, staple frequency, let's go. I know, I'm still you know digging into the staple frequency, but I'm gonna go with it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. That's pretty good. Uh, and up on the top here, this is that, again, I forget what it's called, the, this mounting uh, brace right here with the little honeycomb. I think I shared with this off of the last review. The last company I saw that had these was Picture to Canvas, or, pic or Pixel to Canvas, excuse me, uh, on our wedding canvas from about 10 years ago. I absolutely love that because these sort of uh, mounting hardware is very forgiving. Uh, so if you're off a little bit with your measurements, you have roughly about an inch of <laughs> room to uh, to uh, shift that around. So this sort of mounting hardware, I absolutely love. So again, the print, the print looks phenomenal. The canvas quality is right there. The colors are really spot on. I'm really excited about this. Canvas HQ in the past, compared to others, the print quality, oops, come on. I'm trying to get it back. <laughs> oh boy. So, Canvas HQ in the past, the, the print quality was above the others out there. This right here, it just raised the bar just a little bit more. So I felt it was my duty, my responsibility to share with you folks in the interim until I test out the new Canvas HQ. Um, this is, for what it's worth, this company, Printique, nailed it out. The print crushes my favorite print that I've had on the wall for the last three years. That says a lot. So anyway, that's it. This this uh, this video was, because I've been getting more responses, more of you have left comments underneath the video and I felt that I needed to put this video out there. So I'm gonna put a link down below um, and then we should start going live with our Canvas Print Shootouts 2022 within the next month and a half. And I promise you guys, you'll definitely wanna tune into that. We have some cool new ideas that we're doing for this year uh, that we haven't done in previous years. And of course, we have a lineup of companies that, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting, it's gonna be a really cool uh, shootout this year. That's a fact. So anyway, guys, that is it. This is just a change of perspective. I wanted to give you guys a option to go out there. Uh, and because at the end of the day, I really care about you're going out there to get your money's worth. And it happens. Companies change hands um, and things happen. And so I wanted to be right there for you guys and give you a alternative, give you a option. And it turns out that option, that, that new alternative that was made aware of me earlier this year, happens to have a better print quality than my favorite print that I've gotten from Canvas HQ in the past. So anyways, it's that time of the video where I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff that is oh so valuable to the channel. So if you found some value with this video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're currently now subscribed to the channel, friend, what are you waiting for? And last but not least, hit that bell, smash it, so therefore you're notified every single time that we come out with a video like this. Friends, I'm gonna be jumping out because that's all I have here for you today. So you get out there, stay healthy, and create your best show.